camera. I see. You're doing a movie about me. Or rather, about ants. Another one. It's not the first time, you know. You mean a movie that will explain our real lives. Well, we ants don't think like you, and we communicate with a chemical language. But if you want us to speak with your words, then why not try? For a dull moment in this nest. My sisters are always busy. The white larvae are also my sisters. They are blind and can't move around, but even they are busy, eating most of the time. There are five queens in this colony. They lost their wings many years ago. In my species, queens are much bigger than the workers like me. They can lay hundreds of eggs every day, but we workers care for the larvae until they become adults. I mean, we do all the hard work. Without us, the queens could never have so many children. I'm still young, so I stay underground. My job is to keep the nest clean. All food remains must be thrown outside. To avoid diseases, we also groom ourselves often. We ants even have a special gland that makes antibiotics to kill bacteria and fungi that could make us sick. If we don't take care, these microbes can quickly spread in our nest. So many ants living in this small space. When I'm old enough, I will go outside to get food. But for now, I continue to feed the larvae, clean them and carry them around. I couldn't look after my own children better. Of course you couldn't. Like me, you will never have your own children. Why are you looking at us like that? Isn't it normal to stay childless? Oh, it's obvious that you young workers have never gone above ground. You don't know the outside world and you haven't met other insects yet. For them, reproduction is always the top priority once they become adult. I'm curious to see how these other insects live. I've only seen them dead. You say they all start families? They all try to have children, but they don't look after them. The mothers just choose a good spot to lay eggs, then they leave. Imagine that. Their poor larvae must do everything themselves. Really? Well, that's not like us at all. In ants, only the queen has children, but they are never left on their own. We do everything for the brood, so that they quickly become adults. When I'm outside the nest searching for food, I often meet butterflies. Their larvae, called caterpillars, also look completely different from the adults. But butterflies never live in families. The caterpillars are independent. They walk with tiny legs and they eat leaves all day. No kidding! Those larvae can walk and feed by themselves? Yes, but they take huge risks. Many animals like to eat caterpillars. They have to hide from their predators or stock nasty chemicals so that they taste foul to the birds. But their tricks don't always work. Most caterpillars die before becoming adults. It's the same for flies and beetles. Well, don't forget, we make it very difficult for predators and parasites to enter the nest. Therefore, almost all our larvae survive. Look, they even stay naked during metamorphosis. They don't need a cocoon because they have nothing to fear. Nurses and guards watch over them. You guys get it now. Family life makes a lot of sense in our species, and foragers are the only ones that take risks outside to feed the rest of you. But you're curious to know where all our food comes from. Come, let's go outside and see. In 
insects can die everywhere, so I just walk round and round in places that I know. But when I found this dead spider, I quickly came back to the nest while laying an odour trail on the ground. I have a special gland in my abdomen to make such a pheromone. I'm new at this job. I started only a few days ago. When I smelled the pheromone trail, I simply followed it. Many others did too. So soon, there were many of us to help. Look, look, the big black ant is coming. We often see her around here. She can hunt insects all alone. She is very strong. We are so tiny. Maybe the black ant doesn't even know we're here. I can't imagine how much food these monsters have to give their larvae. In my species, workers are only 1.5 millimetres long. But there are thousands of us in the colony. We are a very large family. See how organised these foragers are, walking along the pheromone trail. We may be minute, but we work well as a team. Many other ants are also like us.